Okay, so I'm sitting here and I'm reading this uh, story about R. Kelly, and it says that R. Kelly uh, is miserable in jail and he cannot read his fan mail. Um, I don't know why they would release the story. Maybe they want people to feel sorry for him. But um, the weird thing about it is, you know, unless he has a real, real, real strong learning disability, I'm really wondering, what did you do with all that free time? Like, did you use all your free time to have sex? Like, was it be, like being in the studio or having sex? Like, one or the other going back and forth, back and forth. Because it seems to me like if you, you know, use the, even a fraction of your free time to practice reading, you'd be able to read and you'd be able to read contracts and stuff like that. So I, I kind of, I feel bad for him, but I also would love to ask him some questions because that stuff's just confusing to me. This is a new background I'm testing out, so that's what this is. So what's going on guys, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins and I'm trying out another one of these funky, funky filters. And uh, today is an interesting occasion to do that. I just read that Don Lemon is being sued for allegedly sexually assaulting another man in a bar. And uh, apparently the guy has filed the suit and is claiming that Don Lemon stuck his hands down his pants and he asked him, according to the lawsuit, do you like penis or do you like vagina? And uh, I don't know what he answered. I don't know what the guy said. Uh, maybe he said, I like both. Or maybe he said, I like fried chicken. I have no idea. But I do know that the guy filed a massive federal lawsuit and uh, it's probably designed to embarrass Don, which I'm sure it has done. He's categorically denied all the allegations. And uh, Don is, uh, yeah, he's defending himself. And I think that what's interesting about this is uh, in the lawsuit, I also read that the guy said that since this happened, he feels traumatized. He feels he, he's, he was depressed. He, you know, all these other things that he put in the lawsuit. Um, and I'm going to just tell you the truth. Um, I think that this is, um, a, you know, a sad day of reckoning for Don Lemon because Don has always been the guy who, um, you know, who has defended the Me Too movement. Um, and the Me Too movement should not be defended, not because sexual assault is okay. Sexual assault is not okay, we know this, but because now you got people flinging allegations against other people where there's no proof. And so what do you do when you're accused of something and somebody that's accusing you is somebody that you never met or somebody that you never touched, you never went near that person, but yet they're making the accusation. So now Don's got to defend himself. He's got to go hire lawyers. He's got to go deal with this and deal with that. And, um, and so I, I think that this leads us to kind of say like, okay, what are we becoming as a society and what should we do so that we can ensure that people get the justice they deserve while at the same time, we don't have people just run around accusing people of stuff just because they feel like it or just because they think they can do a paper chase and a money grab. Um, and, uh, and I think that's, that's what concerns me about all of this. And, I, and I, I hope Don will consider this when he's advocating for the Me Too movement, that he at least also, um, you know, I think, and I've seen him do this a little bit. Don and I don't get along that well. Don does not like me very much. He went on the Tom Jordan Morning Show, you know, attacking me and bashing me mainly because I didn't support his friend Lee Daniels. And I think Lee Daniels is a sick son of a bitch. But I do think uh, at the same time, I have empathy for the fact that, you know, that not because I think Don is a sexual assaulter and that's okay, but the fact that this guy can just file a lawsuit and accuse him of something without any evidence, and a lot of people are gonna believe it. Um, maybe he's gonna have to pay money, and I don't think that's the world we wanna live in. So uh, if you wanna know if I fully support the Me Too movement, the answer is absolutely not. I've lost friends over this. I've had people get mad. Oh, you're a sexist, you're this. No, I'm not a sexist if I expect there to be truth. I'm not a sexist if I believe in protecting uh, the integrity of people who didn't do anything wrong. I'm not a sexist if I believe in, in due process. I'm not a sexist if I believe that evidence is necessary before you ruin somebody's life. So if you think that me not supporting the Me Too movement makes me a sexist, then I'm sorry I can't help you because I'm not into stupidity and some of this stuff is just flat out stupid. So anyway, do I believe Don did it or didn't do it? I don't know. I need to see the proof. If I see the proof, then I'll believe it. If I see no proof, then I won't believe it because you have to be innocent until proven guilty and we don't have that anymore in this country because everybody wants to call everybody an assaulter and everybody wants to scream 
screaming, claim this and claim that so they can get money and all this other stuff. And that's just a bunch of crap. So anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Uh, take care. Hit the thumbs up button. And tell me if you like this new filter. I, I can try some other funny filters just for fun because I think this is just like a cool way to do stuff. And uh, also, don't forget, I'll be in Atlanta the weekend of August 23rd. So if you want to come to the investment seminar we're going to do in Atlanta, I'm going to give three speeches in Atlanta, the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you can come to any of the or, or two speeches and one training, one day-long seminar training. So it's up to you to decide what you want. Uh, but feel free to go to drboysatlanta.com. That's drboysatlanta.com. Don't forget, in September, we have the All Black National Convention. You can learn more about that at allblacknationalconvention.com. That's allblacknationalconvention.com. I'm out of here, guys. Take care. Hit the thumbs up button. I'll see you soon. And tell, don't forget, tell me what you think about the filter. Talk to you later. Peace.